a familiar face back with us again. It's great to have him. We didn't know if he'd be back, but he's back. He was on Food Network again. He's, he's been the last couple of weeks, right? Crown champion, so congratulations. Yes. Thank Local you. chef Christian Gill here brought home the big prize at the winning guys grocery games, summer games. We have been following him closely. We might be fangirling just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not even going to She's apologize about it. <laughs> yeah. So now he's here to celebrate with us. It aired last night, so finally we can talk about it. You knew before that you won oh, when you were yeah. here, just but you held it in. Can't he, say anything. He did really well. Not saying a thing. Uh, very impressive. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Tell us about this prize because. This touches a lot of people. Obviously, you win a great prize, but you yes. also help out a huge amount of people. Like yeah. over 200,000 kids will be fed from the No Kid Hungry, um, awesome. sponsored by Kellogg's. So they're going to donate that many meals in my name to all of those kids, which is going to be great. Yeah. Um, at first, I was like, oh, it's like 50,000. I was like, oh, it's 100,000, because I forgot, because right. we already filmed it. Yeah. It's 200 plus thousand meals, that's and that's, that's just dope. So like above everything else, that is probably the number one prize to take away. Yeah. Um, like over Overall, I won $32,500 on the show, but I mean, feeding that many kids yeah. is, that's just it's dope. So. It is. And to be, able to, to be able to make such an impact like that, I can't imagine. Um, I, you know, for those that need to still watch, I don't want to give it away, right? How intense... Spoiler alert. <laughs> how intense was, uh, was the show compared to other shows that you've had throughout the season? Um, I mean, by the time we got to week five, yeah. I mean, we had all been competing for I mean, legit five, it was five episodes. Okay. And just to fight and fight and fight and run around and run around. I mean, it was a track marathon. It was a track meet for sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was exhausted. I didn't cramp up as bad. But you couldn't tell, so. <laughs> you, I mean, they cut it well. They cut it well, so you couldn't tell when my pants all the way fell almost down. You like, had a belt on, but still, like, when you're running around right. Flavortown trying to grab all of that stuff, like, it's. Big space. It's a big space. I mean, it's a, it's more than a football field long and almost as wide. Like, you are literally hustling like it, the struggle is real, right. but the struggle for $25,000, so it's not that I bad. Mean, what, yeah. It was worth it. It was worth it. Uh, you also, this isn't your average cooking competition in any way. So no. you guys are also competing, you know, mentally. We were talking about a little off air. I know you're not allowed to say everything, but you're also doing these ridiculous games, and then they're throwing crazy ingredients at you. And one of my favorite quotes of yours in the show was, that's a future Christian problem. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> Have you ever looked at Future Christian and been like, oh, shoot, I really maybe shouldn't have grabbed the jalapeno lollipop or whatever that thing was? Yes, there have been multiple times where I'm just like, in the middle of cooking, I won't look up, I'm just cooking and I'm like, well, Future Christian, you uh, you really... You really got yourself. You really got yourself, yourself in a, <laughs> got yourself in a pickle there, <laughs> you, you dumb dumb. Like, I mean, because you're, you're trying to make sure that you're seasoning appropriately every single round. You're making sure that every single aspect of your dish has the appropriate amount of acid, the appropriate amount of salt, heat, like, mm -hmm. and like you'll see us go, like especially everybody that I competed with, I mean, they were dangerous. Everyone was going to the Asian aisle, the, like the international aisle a lot, because that's where all of that umami flavor is that's right. just gonna elevate all of your dishes. And if you didn't have some sort of like great umami impact in your dish, yeah. like it wasn't memorable because you, you got to remember that like I'm doing my best and I'm going to I'm going to double down my seasoning, sometimes triple it yeah. because I know I only have 20 minutes really to like cook something that needs to feel like it's been marinating or cooking for eight hours. Right. Right. And so Which if everybody crazy. else is doing that, like you got to come with the salt, you got to come with the acid and at home, like people at home probably think that you're over seasoning. Right. Right, you're right. not, you're really not. Okay. So like when you think about it at home, you got a 30 minute meal to make for everybody. And like, you know, generally your, your mother-in-law is like, ah, where's the salt? Like I'm trying to get that salt and pepper. <laughs> like you want to keep them from doing that? Double down on your seasoning in whatever you're making. Then you don't have to put salt and pepper on the table. That makes sense. So not only is it's it a nice science, but it's also art. I mean, truly, you make food art, my friend. So Thanks, it's all in the mind. So uh, Chef Christian Gill, not only did he hang out with us, uh, he's going to have more uh, for us yes. I think, throughout the day. Yes. Um, so jo we'll see where that goes. Joining us on the Daily Dose. Yeah, so you can catch so. him after on Facebook with us. So thanks so much for joining us. And congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you for being yeah. such a wonderful representative of the city of Cincinnati. And also, we'll talk later about his future plans because there's more coming. There we is. do <laughs> want to get a check of tra not traffic.